Hi, Data Ben here. Today we're going to look at dynamic array formulas. These array formulas result in an array of results rather than a single cell result. They're very powerful and very easy to use. Let's have a look. First, we're going to use the unique formula. We have some employee data on the left hand side, department name and salary, and we just want a unique list of departments. So we do equals unique, open brackets, then choose the first column. In this case, the column is formatted as a table and then close brackets and it will spill down and display all of the unique values in department. This shows off some features of dynamic array formulas. Firstly, that when you've completed a dynamic array formula and the data result has spilled over, you can see that it's actually surrounded with a blue box. So the result set is surrounded by blue. And the next thing is, if you actually scroll down the results, you'll see in the formula bar that the result is in light gray and you can't actually change anything in here. So if you try and uh, change some data, it'll actually break the formula and show a spill error. So I'm going to undo that. So it's only the formula in the top left of the dynamic array formula that is editable. Sort sorts an array. So we can actually do equals sort and we're going to sort the previous range that we've done here and it's going to show sort e4 hash. Now, instead of showing sort e4 to e13, it shows the hash, which actually just means all of the results of the array. So because these results could be spill differently or the data could refresh and spill further down, for example, the hash simply says, please return the results of the array, however large the data set is. So if I press return on this, it will actually sort alphabetically, automatically. Then we have sort by. So I'm actually going to use the table again. So sort by, open brackets, and then I'm going to choose the name and the salary column here. So because it's a table, it actually refers to the named table, staff table, and the column's name to salary. And then we're going to sort by the salary column. So I'm just going to highlight the salary column, so staff table salary. And we're going to have this in descending order, so minus one. So one is ascending, which is the default, and minus one is descending, and then close brackets. And it will actually return both columns here because of the first argument. So staff table, name to salary, it's going to return that. And you can see that it's returned the names and the salaries in descending salary order. Next, we're going to do filter. So we're going to do equals filter, and we're going to again do it on the staff table and we're going to go from name to salary and uh, this time we're going to filter on staff table salary and we want it to be all salaries that are greater than uh, or equal to the number that we put here so in m2 and then text if empty so if there's no results what do we put so we'll put no one has a salary above this amount and then close brackets and return on that and it does return the results that we expect so now if we change this number so we only want salaries over 100,000 we get those and let's see if there's anyone over a million by adding an extra zero and we get the result no one has a salary above this amount two bonus dynamic array formulas here are sequence and rand array so let's look at sequence first. So we'll do equals sequence, and then we'll have the number of rows we want. So I'll say 10, and the number of columns we want, and I'll say two. And I'll say, uh, first we want a start number. So we'll say we'll start at number two, and we'll go up by two. So we'll step up, so two, four, six, eight. And it should come out once I press return, which it does with uh, the, two times table essentially two four six eight ten twelve and so on so we've stepped up by two so if I change this last argument to uh, four then it will step up by four and so on random array so if we do equals rand array and then open brackets and the number of rows we want so I'll say ten rows here and then two columns across and this is going to randomize or create a table that's a random 
uh, between two numbers, between a minimum and a maximum. So I'm going to say between the min minimum of one and the maximum of 100. And then the final argument is whether it's an integer, uh, a full, a whole number, or a decimal. And decimal is the default, false, so we'll leave that at false. And you can see there, it's randomized numbers between one and 100. And if I press return or refresh, it will randomize it. And if I change the last argument from false to true, we'll get whole numbers instead, which might be much more useful for you. And let's change the maximum here to 1,000 and we get random numbers between one and 1,000. Good luck using dynamic array formulas, and you might want to dynamically subscribe to this channel.